Look, B, I've been sitting here thinking, right? And I'm going to keep it 100. Before I even get to this block, I rock with both these dudes. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Swamp came in the battle rap with a, with a, I can kill all y'all. I'm not cool with none of y'all. All y'all making groups is corny. I'm feeling all of that. He wants smoke with all of these niggas. And he can back it up. His bars is fire. You know what I'm saying? And he's a newcomer. For a newcomer to come and shake up the whole URL, I like that right there. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely rock with Swamp Heavy. And then you got T-Top. I feel like T-Top came to battle rap by storm and just, like, destroyed it. He went to the UW tournament. He he got, like, spit that heat. Him and Briz got it lit. You know what I'm saying? The South really relied on T-Top and Briz, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? He goes to the URL, and it's like, it keeps going. It keeps going. Let's not forget, T-Top was known for selling drugs to his mother and being this big trapper and this, that, and the third. He did it so much, the fans didn't like it and they started turning on him. And he switched his whole entire flow around and now he's one of the top anglers ever in battle rap. Let's not forget that, you know what I'm saying? He had to actually be van pitched out. So I rock with both of them heavy, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, I'm going to be dead real with you, B. I don't think Swamp is ready for T-Top. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. See, understand this right here. I had to really think about this. Like, twerk is dope with the bars. Random bars. Random punchlines. That, that's fire. Cool. It's a bar fest. Swamp is talking to, to, uh, to twerk. He's talking to him. You see what I'm saying? He can't talk to T-Top like that, B. He really can't. And I'm sitting here and I'm watching T-Top's interview. I believe I'm not mistaken, it's on Hip Hop is Real. And it's just like, I'm sitting here watching the interview, thinking in my mind, if you can just break this into rounds, I don't even see how he's going to win. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. Like for T-Top to be sitting there, let's really think about what Swamp is saying. And I'm not trying to break Swamp down, but it's just like, I don't see how he's going to win this battle. I don't see what he's doing right here. Like, all right, you're saying that T-Top and Bridge did not put on for the Carolinas, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, you got to understand something. I'm blogging from North Carolina. This whole AFM shit started in North Carolina. I wasn't there for the RBC days, but I, I do know enough of what was going on in North Carolina to actually speak on it. And it's just like, I don't feel like that's true. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't feel like that's true. No, You had North Carolina ballots. No one was really checking for them like that. And that, that's just keeping 100. It wasn't like that until Briz and T-Top came into the scene. They was repping North Carolina. Like, how can you say they didn't put on for the Carolinas when T-Top, his man who was Park Life was Wooter, he had a PG. You got Briz who was Dark Side. That consisted of Billy Duchess, Blu-ray Blade, Strategize. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about Strategize, but I definitely know that Blu-ray Blade and Billy Duchess had PGs. And it's just like, okay, so they got PGs. And the door never closed from there. Pluizzi got a PG. Uh, Riggs got a PG. I don't know what happened with Chitty Bang, but it's like you have battlers who benefited from these niggas being the spotlight and kicking that door down to show that Carolina can actually battle, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really understand his angle, to be honest with you. And then it's not even just that. Then I'm looking at the fact, mind you, I was going with these niggas to Atlanta to spit that heat. So it's just like spit that heat was cool, but when North Carolina battlers came to spit that heat, it turned up. It turned up to the point that y'all started paying attention to spit that heat. You know what I'm saying? Because of all the battles that was there. So now you got some fire battles over there from them. Even when they stop, eyes are still on spit that heat. Now you got Trez, who who's who he's the he's the man now because they left. You got Flocko L. He they got PGs. You know what I'm saying? People from Spit That Heat got PGs. Or automatic Ray he battled Cortez. Like I don't really think any of that happens if T Top and Briz doesn't go over there to be honest with you. I'm, I'm just being dead serious with you. I'm not backing none of these niggas. I ain't speaking to T-Top and Mad Long or Briz. Well, shout out to Briz. He did um, text me the other day and shit. But, like, that's just what it is. I don't really feel like, like, understand this. If Swamp's main thing is you ain't hold the door open for niggas to come in for the Carolinas do battle rap. If you say in South Carolina, then I guess I can see your way of thinking. But, I mean, let's keep it up. T-Top is not even from North Carolina. This nigga's from New York. He moved to North Carolina. So it's just like, why is he repping South Carolina? So you try to tell me that if there's a battler in North Dakota, he's representing North and South Dakota? Is that how this is supposed to be working? Because I've never understood this right here. Like, I figured that North Carolina uh, uh, North Carolina was Briz and T-Top. That's what they repping. I didn't know they had to rep South Carolina too. So I kind of feel like 
swamp, whatever angle you getting ready to have on this, I don't feel like that's really going to work like that, bro. I'm being dead. I really don't feel like it's going to even work like that. Our streets, he had a PG. Um, um, you, you've had people from North Carolina. Prior to Brisbane T-Top, no one was looking at North Carolina battlers. They kicked the door down for the South. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not talking about Louisiana and Texas. Or, or I'm not talking about uh, uh, Scotty and them. I'm not talking about them. Hemi and all of them. I mean the Carolinas and, and Atlanta and all that. Like, T-Top and Briz played a big part in the South really blowing up. And I don't really feel like people really know what's going on with that. Like, that's just the fact. That's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? It is. So, are you saying they were supposed to be like, yo, after they battle, say, yo, Check out my man Swamp and check out Joe and these niggas from South Carolina too. Like, cause that's a whole lot right there. I don't feel like they should have been doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to figure out where you're coming from because I'm looking at T Top's uh, uh Hip Hop is Real interview and it's just like, it's, it's either Hip Hop is Real or 15 Minutes of Fame. You know what I'm saying? I think it's Hip Hop is Real. But it's just like, bro, he's debunking every single thing that Swamp can even say to him right now. You can't say he didn't open the door for other battles. That's true. We wouldn't even know about it, Blue Easy. If T Top and Bridge is not here, and that's just a fact. We're not gonna know about Body Bag Battle League. We're not gonna know about North Carolina like that, period, if it's not for these niggas. Let's just keep it a thousand. So that's not gonna work, honestly. That angle right there is not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Then you're talking about like yo, I gotta see this battle. I just gotta see. I gotta see what Swamp is gonna say to T Top, bro. I gotta see this shit because it's just like this nigga did what he was supposed to do, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how you could... And then for him to be... T-Top, it's like, I never had to call nobody out. Everybody always had to call me out. It's like, damn, Swamp, you, you kind of coming up because you calling people out right now. It's just like, oh, my God. I can see how T-Top is going to flip this shit into an angle on Swamp, bro. And Swamp is going to look crazy. Swamp going to have his bars. He's going to be dope. I don't... I, like, T-Top is not no walk in the park, son. He's not no walk in the fucking park. Like, I really hope people understand that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? This can get very ugly and shit. And it's like, Swamp, you talking so much about T-Top. It's like, you putting yourself in a position where you kind of have to beat him. Or at least be debatable. And I've seen T-Top get crazy on niggas. So it's just like, if he gets crazy on you, that's going to hurt your stock. I just want to let you know that. That is definitely going to hurt your stock. If he gets crazy on you, you know what I'm saying? So I hope you really writing the best shit you ever wrote in your life right now. Because I'm pretty sure, and I have not heard his bars, but I'm pretty sure T-Top is about to get crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure what you sent him to me, you want to put hands on him and all. I done heard you say all kinds of shit about this nigga. So them three rounds you about to stand in front of is not going to be no walk in the park. You know what I'm saying? And your whole claim the fame is I'm from South Carolina and he never shouted me out, I'm going to tell you right now, you about to get hurt really bad in that ring. You know what I'm saying? You better come with something better than that. I'm just, you got to come with something better than that. He's breaking you down in this interview, bro. He he kind of really is. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, and the whole claim of fame was you saying he wasn't, he didn't put on for the Carolinas like that. Like, how? How? Him and Briz was jumping in the car, going state to state, trying to battle niggas to get their name up. Like, that's how they got their name up. Spit that he's in Atlanta, not North Carolina. They was over here traveling to pit fights. They over here traveling to the Midwest. Like, they was traveling to get their names up. Like, bro, the, the, the South really was thriving because of these niggas, son. They really was. So it's just like, I don't know what angle you're going to have, but you better start doing your research, B. You better, because they was definitely battling. And if he was, come on, man. And then T-Top is the one who won the U of F tournament. It's just like, yo, son, like, what you really about to say to this nigga, son? What is you really about to say to him, son? You really think he didn't put on for the South period, knowing that he kept saying Carolina the entire fucking time? I've never even heard him scream New York out. I don't think I've ever even heard Bridge scream Delaware out. Man. He might have, but um, they, these niggas been repping Carolina, son. So I hope you know what you're doing. Um, I want to see a good battle, but I want to make this blog. I want this nigga Swamp to see this blog. You know what I'm saying? So that you're not about to sit here and write a whole bunch of bullshit down. That's not true. Like, seriously, you can't say Swamp, the uh, T-Top has not put on for the Carolinas. He clearly has, bro. So it, it, it's it's weird. I'm watching the interview. It's weird. T-Top is like, I never had to call nobody out. 
He's like, what am I supposed to do? Hold your hand? It's just like, oh, man, what in the hell is Swamp getting ready to say? You know what I'm saying? Like, because this thing is making mad sense right now. I don't know. Who you niggas got? You niggas got Swamp and T-Top. I don't be real to be. I think T-Top gonna win this shit, yo. I ain't gonna hold you. Hey, if you the fuck up, I'm out. One.